Okay, this is um, BCA 101 Introduction to Computers and Information Systems. Monday, 9-26-16. Day 11. <clears throat> Alright, we talked about finishing up Unit 2. We did a couple things. We, um, topics from the outline. We uh, watched a video, Danny Hillis that, Hillis, that talked about the internet. And we discussed that in class. Talked about unit completion. Students need to be working on that. We're going to finish this all up. By Wednesday, I hope. Um, some of it might linger over till Friday. We uh, need to start Unit 3. They need to start working on the outline. And we're going to start working on spreadsheets. <clears throat> we're finishing up word processing. Talked a little bit about the project. Uh, a couple key things to finish up there if they don't already have it done. We talked a little bit about ethics. Talked about the example. I'll um, we'll get to in a little bit. And then we finished up that group project today that talked about using the outliner in word processing. Use the outliner. And um, we also talked about that the other day moving the output to the web, being able to do a table of contents, move information around, and so forth. We had a uh, couple things we talked about. We talked about ICANN. We talked about domain names. An IP address. An IP address is how we move through the internet. We talked about URLs and paths. We listened to Danny Hillis and we talked about trust. We talked about open source. Reviewed a little bit public shaming, and search these things they need to finish up from Unit 2. We talked about STEAM and how that works, and then we talked about some ethics issues there, where somebody could write some software code, they give away these tokens, by giving away the tokens they need, then they get a 5 star rating for that. And so even though it isn't, it may not be good, they get a five star, the sales goes way up, somebody makes money, sales goes way down because the software really isn't any good, but they already have their money. Is that ethical? No. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> not one of those things via the internet, how we do that. Alright, so... Here we are, we're finishing up Unit 2, so we have those completion, and we have the Word Processing Skills Based Assessment. I made that available, the students need to just do it on their own, um, work individually, and then have that done by, I believe, check the canvas for the due dates. Next we move into Unit 3 about some details, hardware, software, and so forth. Talk about computing devices, and we get into more details, like how much you should spend if you buy a certain computing device. In Unit 3, then, we introduce spreadsheets, be able to manage numbers, and do what-if analysis. And then we move, <clears throat> that actually carries over, spreadsheets actually moves all the way through Unit 3 into the end of Unit 4. So it actually spans both of those units. And in Unit 4, talk about multimedia. Yeah, that's what I'm using right here, multimedia. I'm writing, I'm talking, you're getting a video, and so forth. Alright, once we get done with all that, it'll be midterm. 
That's it.